Hey everybody, welcome to the NFTGL redraft video. Uh, this will be the first in a series of videos uh, where each of our coaches are going to go through and select their new team for the next five seasons of the NFTGL. We do this every five seasons and this is our fourth draft. For the first time ever, uh, the league will be using the NFC East and the NFC Central instead of the NFC West and the NFC Central. And going forward, we will be rotating through the three divisions in the NFC uh, for each of our drafts. For league balance purposes, there have been roster adjustments made to four of the five teams in the NFC East, uh, as well as a playbook adjustment to the Minnesota Vikings that we've had active in our league for a while now. Uh, we'll be going over all of that as each of the teams is drafted. Uh, and this will give you really your first glimpse to kind of the inside of the NFTGL. So with the uh, the first pick, uh, we have a coach here um, who, over the last iteration, put together a man record of 10 wins and 40 losses uh, coming in last place. He had no playoff appearances uh, and really hasn't been a playoff factor in our league for a while. Uh, I believe for the last 10 or 15 seasons, 10 seasons, the last 10 seasons. So uh, hopefully that changes for him. He's uh, got a, looks like an interesting uh, choice here, um, being the first person to ever have a chance to draft an NFT, NFC East team. So with our first pick, we have Coach Steven Smutnik. And here he is with his selection. Hey everybody, Coach Schmutnik here. He's all been waiting for this. About to make my pick. Man, it's actually a nice day out today. Dogs are running around like crazy. But uh, yo, Bill, shut the fuck up. I can read. I can't read your text right now. Bill's he's fucking on my ass. He wants me to make this pick so bad. I don't know why. He has to fucking wait anyway. Ugh. What's he care who I pick? He can't take my team. Oh, man. So, the first pick of the NFTGL draft, I mean, he's all been waiting. I mean, I've already fucking jerked you off enough, you know. I practice some, you know. Probably more than I ever have. And I think this is the pick for me. But, you know, I, I did want to shake things up, you know. Really want to shake things up. But I, I, I'm not confident enough in that pick. So I'm pretty confident in this pick, but it's killing me. It's really, really, it's fucking killing me. I'll never wear these colors. Oh, yeah, maybe I will. I don't know. Yeah. But the only way this will make me feel better is if I do, like, like a little ceremonial thing, you know? You know, lighting a torch. And I'll light this fucking torch, you know? Let's light this torch. Ah, oh, fuck. All right. Well, uh, yeah. I like the torch all right. Um, kind of fucked that up. But... <laughs> uh, that was a Dallas jersey. Oh, uh, yeah, kind of fucking this video up. It wouldn't let me, uh, it wouldn't let me turn the camera around. What the fuck? Ooh, a little bit too much gasoline. But I did promise... Some pyrotechnics, so. Whew. Well, there you go. I don't know if you can still see it. You know? It's, uh... It kind of melted, like, fucking the shit team that they are. I fucking hate them fucking pieces of shit team, but, uh... Hey, oh, let's, let's see. There's that fucking star. Woo! That's hot. Woo! But yeah, I mean, I don't know if you even caught it. Yeah, I'm picking the Cowboys. 
kind of fucked my video up, but I only got one cowboy jersey. <laughs> Not making another one. There's no do-over. All right, man. That's it. You happy, Bill? You fucking piece of shit. Hope you get stuck with a shitty team. Well, leave it to Steve to mess up his video. But uh, for all of us in the uh, in the NFTGL, it was a joy to watch uh, that stupid Cowboys jersey burn. Or at least the tail end of it. It would have been nice to see the whoosh, but whatever. Um, anyway, so with the Cowboys, there are uh, two roster adjustments, and those are the only changes. So we're going to go in and, and take a look at uh, the offense and the defense. So on the offense, the Cowboys lose Emmett Smith, and they acquire from Jacksonville Mazio Royster. Uh, Mazio, as you can see, is a giant pile of crap, and uh, we expect to see no things from him in the coming seasons. Um, instead, uh, the starting running back is looking like now it's going to be either David Lang or S. Williams, whose first name I do not know. We're going to call him Sherman for the duration of this video, uh, though I won't reference his name again. Uh, Sherman, as you can see, is also not very good. Um, so really, the best player he's got in the backfield now is, is Moose, and uh, you know, it is what it is. The rest of the offense is unchanged. Uh, the only other change on this roster is on the defensive side, where they lose uh, Darren Woodson and acquire Terry Ray from the New England Patriots. Pretty sure that's right. Uh, anyway, so you can see Terry Ray is uh, also garbage, and these two huge downgrades at two key positions on offense and defense brings the Cowboys into a more balanced playing field with the rest of the NFC. And that's what Steve's going to be working with. So we'll see if he can figure out how to play offense and how to play defense. Uh, one of those should be relatively easy, but knowing Steve, he'll find a way to compile about 10 wins over five seasons. Good luck, Steve. And moving on. Enjoy the next video.